The open beta for Foundry's Nuke 17 just dropped, and it is back with some exciting new features for compositors. The headline feature is probably the addition of 3D Gaussian splatting, which basically lets you bring volumetric 3D captures point cloud style directly into your comp. But this is not everything. Nuke 17 supports an overhaul 3D system, a souped up machine learning tool called Big Cat for training AI on big batches of shots, and even a revamped timeline and rotation system so you can draw feedback in your project. One of the coolest additions is native support for 3D Gaussian splats. And if you haven't heard of splats, picture reconstructing a scene as millions of tiny fuzzy points or Gaussians instead of traditional polygons. It is a new technique for turning real photos or scans into a 3D scene, which was popularized around 2023. The magic of splats is that they can deliver photoreal 3D, I mean 3D details, like a neural radiance field or nerf, but with real-time performance and direct editability, which means you don't need supercomputers or long waiting times. And in Nuke 17, you can import these splat point clouds straight into your composite, and you can do that via apply or splat files, and treat them like any other object. There's also a set of field nodes that let you mask off or tweak parts of the splat data, for example, you can isolate and delete unwanted objects from the captured scene or recover a specific area, and you can do that non-destructively. You can even merge multiple splats together. Imagine dropping a 3D scanned object into a splat environment and then re-render the result with a new splat render node, complete with proper camera perspective, depth, and motion blur in your 2D comp. As you can see, this basically opens up a whole new workflow for set extensions and environment scenes. You also get the speed and realism of the point cloud 3D captures, but you can do that inside Nuke, where you can composite and grade them live. Beyond Splats, there are plenty of other goodies in Nuke 17. The 3D system overall has gotten its largest update yet, because it is now more streamlined, especially for matte painting and projection work. You will find it easier to load up 3D assets, because there is a new import dialog so you don't have to pull in an entire huge scene if you only need just part of it. And Nuke's 3D workspace plays nicer with the pipeline standards like USD and Material Axe. In fact, you can edit USD cameras and lights directly in Nuke's viewport, with the new geonodes and Nuke now supports Material Axe materials, so your comps can reflect the look dab more accurately in the viewport. And for those into machine learning, the big cat in Nuke Axe builds on the copycat node to train AI models on hundreds or even thousands of frames, not just one shot. And this one is great for letting an algorithm handle tedious tasks like rotoscoping across an entire sequence, which honestly takes a lot of time and labor. And I think this one is gonna be a game changer for the VFX industry. And if you're using Nuke Studio for editorial, the new annotation tools are a welcome change, because now we can draw on the timeline with adjustable brush sizes, colors, opacity, and you can even use a dodge or burn or raise, making the review notes clearer and more artistic. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.